Hello, this is Pet Control HQ. Just want to show you a video on how to unmatch and match your DFR113R collar to your particular remote control. Um, how the system works is as you can see on your remote control there are three buttons one, two and three. What that means is that you can pair or match up to three collars to the remote control um, so you can control three collars individually. So we're going to show you how to do that. Just want to note um, before you start you must always make sure that your collars are always fully charged um, before, before use um, by making sure that you leave them on charge for a minimum of six to eight hours first uh, before use and that should be done for the remote control as well. Um, what you should always make sure when you're doing an unmatch and match now the only reason you would want to unmatch and match a collar is that if you purchase an additional collar for your system you need to match it to the remote control um, or um, normally if you purchase a DFR 113R system with a remote control the collar should already be matched to a position but if you need to unmatch and match them again this is what this video will show you now always um, before we start the procedure, always make sure all your collars are switched off. Um, so I'm going to switch this collar off. Um, so all collars have to be off. And always make sure that you only work with one collar at, at a time when you're doing this. So with all collars being off, we're going to remove one collar away and put that aside. And we're only going to work with one collar at a time. Okay, so the first thing we need to do now is you need to switch the remote control on by just holding on the on button. As you can see when the remote control is on, um, by pressing 1 you get an A display, pressing 2 you get a B display, pressing 3 you get a C display. And we're going to do the same thing by switching the collar on and you just hold the on off button for a few seconds until you hear a beep and you will notice on the remote, on the collar that the green LED now is blinking once every five seconds which indicates the collar is matched but it may not be matched to this particular remote control and that's what we're going to be doing now and that's what the video will show you so the first thing we need to do is it's always a two-step process you need to unmatch the collar first and then you need to match the collar to the remote control that you have got now to do that we're first going to put the collar in what we call the remote control in what we call unmatch programming mode so that that means is you hold the like button and the zap button together till you get the numbers running on the screen as you can see now the numbers are running on the remote control that means that the collar is in unmatch mode by holding these two buttons let me repeat that the collar now is in unmatch programming mode once it's done there you bring the two together and you can press any button you want, one, two, or three. It doesn't really matter, matter when you're doing an unmatch. So I'm going to press number one. And what you will notice, as soon as you've done that, you will see that the green uh, LED on the collar is blinking fast. What that indicates is the collar is now unmatched. The collar is now unmatched. Okay, now what we need to do now, now we have to match the collar to this particular remote control. Now the way you do that is first you have to take your remote control, remember the numbers are still running, out of, out of unmatched programming mode. So you hold those two together till you see the numbers stop running, right? And now we have to put the remote control in match programming mode. So to do that, you press the plus button and the zap button together, exactly the same way like you did with the unmatch mode and you'll see that the numbers stop running, start running. Now the remote control is in match programming mode. Once you've done that, now you can proceed to match this collar and now this is very important, you need to press the correct position you want. So in this case, we're gonna make this collar number one. So I'm gonna press number one on the, on the remote control. Now you will notice now that the collar, the LED light, has gone back from fast blinking to normal blinking every five seconds. So that means that the collar has now been matched and it is matched to position number one. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to, as you can see the numbers are still running on the remote control, you need to take the remote control out of, out of programming mode, in this case match programming mode, by holding the two together. 
and you'll see the numbers have stopped running and there we go and now this color is matched to position one now to test that it's very simple if you press the blink the light button you should get a blink if you press the vibrate button you should see the color should break and if you take the test light bulb and you put that over the collar and you press the zap button you should see the orange light uh, blink which indicates that the collar is zapping so this collar is now matched to position one okay right now what we're going to do is once you're finished with this collar as I told you before you switch this collar off completely by holding it down you remove this collar away and you bring your next collar that you want to do so now what we're going to do now is we're going to match this collar to position number two okay so again we follow the same procedure the first step is you switch the collar on right you'll see that the light is blinking once every five seconds indicates that the collar is matched but it may not be particularly matched to this particular remote control so the first thing we need to do now do is unmatch it so again we're going to put the remote control in unmatch mode by holding those two buttons together now and then you bring them together now that doesn't really matter when you're unmatching it you can press any button so we're going to press button number one again and you will notice the LED blinking fast okay now we're going to take the collar out of unmatch programming mode okay and now we're going to put it into match programming mode okay and now this is very important remember the first collar was number one we're going to make this one number two so now you have to press the number two button when it's in match programming mode and you will notice that the LED should go back to blinking normal indicating that the collar has been matched and the next step is to take it out of programming mode and back to that now to check that you've done it correctly you put the collar in position number two and again you can test the collar by pressing that by pressing that which you vibrate or by again indicating indicating that the collar will zap okay so now what we've done now if I bring my, my back my first collar now I've got this one position number one and this one is in position number two so I'm going to switch this color on and you will now see that if I press the number two when I press vibrate number two vibrates when I press number one only one will vibrate so you can control each individual color by um, by selecting the number selector on your remote control and that is this, the end of this video for today. This shows you how to unmatch and match your DFR113 collar to your remote control. Thank you.